What's up, everybody? Big Ox Triple Six here, the Golf Gamer. So check it out, man. Returnal has finally came out for the PlayStation Five, and I've been like listening to a few podcasts. I've been actually, you know, watching people's overall thoughts of the game, and there's some casuals. Well, most, I'm being for real. Most most of people that play video games are 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 casuals and has like played back in the early days of S S N E S and N E S days. Um, picked up this game, and some of them are not not feeling Returnal at all because from what I've been reading on Twitter, some of them pe some people thought it was a third party triple A bullet hell game and you know casuals they they don't actually look up look up the research of the game they pretty much like oh it's a triple a game from sony it, it 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 should be good well they're not feeling the game because it's a roguelike now check it out if you don't know what a roguelike is there's there's two different versions if if I, yeah, there should be two different words, L I T E and L I K E. There are two different ones of that. Now, this version is a L L I T E version because you actually have permanent um, stuff that that comes with you. Oh my God! How can I how can I explain the best the best way of this? From a road like L I. Um, T E L I K. Oh my gosh, freaking words, man. Okay. Roguelike game. You have automated um, levels that happens. You get to a certain part of the game, you die, you have to start all over again from the beginning. No, 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 you get you don't get any permanent stuff, anything like that. You start from the beginning for basic stuff. That's how roguelike games are. It's the same way with Returnal, but it's sort of like Hades, which I always tell you guys, play freaking Hades because the story and the characters are amazing and you get items, more and more stuff as you progress through each level. The story is good. The characters is good. But if you don't like that that auto-generated level stuff, it's not gonna be for you because you're gonna be fighting the same enemies and the same boss. I'm like on a third stage and I got two two characters, two bosses, I couldn't beat them. Alright. But it's an amazing story, and I do like the characters. And actually, you get stuff as you go. You actually get permanent abilities as you go. That is a rogue light. Alright. Same thing as Returnal, from what I heard. And some people are not feeling the game. Some people are actually returning the mofo, okay? S especially some casuals. Now, so a gamer, well, to me he's a fraud, um, named Hip Hop Gamer said this, so Returnal is a dope game that I will not be playing anymore. And that's in that's in big bold letters. Until cheat codes arrive or easy mode or something. A great game that misses perfection trying to be a dark uh, a souls game in critical areas. This is the same guy that played Cuphead on um he had a cheat where you couldn't die, and he was pretty much f flaunting his 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 behind on freaking Twitter like I beat Cuphead, I beat Cuphead, I beat all the bosses playing playing on in the invincibility code on. So these are the people that I don't consider like gamers. He's better off playing Candy Crush. <laughs> Seriously, these are the people that do reviews and stuff like that. I see them constantly on Twitter freaking saying there should be an AI system where you don't have to grind. I have seen it. I have seen gamers be like, yeah, that, that'll be a whole lot easier. I can sp spend time on my freaking woman and stuff. Like, 
Motherfucker, don't play games then if you don't have the time. I'm playing games right now. And guess what? I still spend time with my girl. Because the, the game's going to be here forever. Unless everything freaking burns fuck down. I hope not. <laughs> but the game's going to be here. All right? The games will be here. Shit. But that's why I like games that that gives you a challenge, man. I haven't bought Returnal. I don't think I I, I played a bunch of role like games. I, I'm about to name name some, some off that I would recommend. Hades, Into the Gungeon. That's a, that was a free game like last month. I don't know why you haven't got into play Into the Gungeon. That that intro, that intro. If that intro doesn't doesn't hit 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 you good, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. That intro, man, of Into the Gungeon, just it's it's good. I was playing that crap earlier <laughs> at work because I just got off work, man. But into the gungeon, man. Whew. That that is a rogue light. And like, hey, <laughs> game. That game is not a bitch. <laughs> that game does not play. Man, I even bought the physical copy for um special reserve games and stuff. But let's backtrack here. Yes, there are some games that require skill. And stuff and some people don't have it some people started from the 360 days and the ps3 days I I'm I'm 36 I, I'm I'm an old fart all right <laughs> but I grew up with the NES days and SNES days all right I know how hard game is hard hard oh, I can't, I can't, that's not even a perfect sentence I know I know how to play a hard game I played a bunch of hard games all right and nowadays, these games are a whole lot easier. I was listening to a podcast of Harday and his um, co-host, Optimus Prime. He literally said, which actually makes sense. The reason why they make the difficulty a whole lot easier because they want more casuals to actually enjoy the game more and buy, buy, buy their, their, their game. That is the reason why they make these games a whole lot easier. And I say it in my a bunch of videos that these games are not hard or normal. They're not, man. But I've been playing since freaking five. Didn't know what the heck I was doing <laughs> during that time, but I was playing since then. And now these, ga these games ain't, ain't, are easy, man. That's why I like freaking... Dark Souls and freaking um, some road like games, and you know, what else? What else is freaking hard? Like Sekiro games because they actually give you a challenge. Because some people can't be Sekiro, some people, some people can't. Um, and I, I, I enjoy that man because I, I know, I know in my mind that I, 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 I don't freaking suck at games. Um, I had an issue with Neo Neo Two, which I'm getting a PS5 version because it has all the all the DLC on the disc and stuff. But yeah, I was playing Neo Two the the first time, and I was getting my behind mopped, literally mopped, dude. And I was just like, and my girlfriend was like, literally, like looking at me, she's like, I know you're not this bad. So I went to start start the first one and stuff. I I like got to like the second island if um. The, the, I think it was like the lightning slug or something like that. I beat the slug, water slug. I, if you play Neil, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, that, that game is, from what I play, is a breeze. But I want to get that PS5 version and stuff because it has all, all the DLC on disc. All right. I'm, I'm that type of guy. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. These games are, 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 are not that hard. I know I say this over and over again, but I'm just pro proving a point that some, some of these casuals can't hack it. They can't hack it or have to have an easy mode, man. I've been calling people out on that crap constantly on Twitter, constantly. But Return is not for everybody. It is not for everybody. And the uh, games that are roguelike, because I played them. I won't play Rogue Legacy anymore. Mm -mm. That was my first rogue-like game I've ever, ever played. And 
I hated it. <laughs> hated it, man. Because you always get get a bad roll. I had like got like five. Bad. If you play Rogue Legacy, go go look it up. <laughs> that game does not play, but I beat it. I fucking beat that game. Man, it was so, so satisfying. It's like, no playing the game. I know there's a second one. I'm not touching it. <laughs> I'm not fucking touching it. But there's other ones that, that are good. Into the Gungeon, that game's hard. Um, I have Dead Cells. I need. To, I hope to have a Game of the Year edition, like I actually own disc, because I'm, I'm that type of guy. I know it has DLC for it. Into the Gungeon, Children, Children of Morta, um, Risk of Rain 1 and 2. That's actually the first third-person um, rope-like game. Everybody thought this was the first, to be honest. No, Risk of Rain 2 was the first that I recall. That That's third-party and stuff. But um, some people... Well, before we get to the... Um, what I'm referring to... About the glitches. Risk of Rain 2... Um, the birth of Isaac. That game, I beat that game three times. I actually had the had the version on disc, the second version that I had got the first version on PlayStation Plus, but I beat that one three times, about two or three times. Then I had the the um, second version on disc, and there's supposed to be another version coming out that's supposed to be on PS5. I would buy that one too. That was a great great um, rope like game, awesome game. Children of Morta, Moonlighter, Risk of Rain two. Um, Hel 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 Helmut, that was one of the games that I couldn't get the trophy. I got the trophies now, but that's another another roguelike game where pretty much you go to a certain level, beat the boss, and when you die, you lose everything. You start from the beginning. Some people are not digging that. And also, on top of that, some people are not enjoying the game because it doesn't have a save state. When you play roguelikes, there's no save state. There's only one run and one run only. Some people are playing playing the game for about one or two hours and it crashes the p i've i've seen it on people's um videos that the system crashed the ps5 crash hell this fucking game right here not playing skyrim i know it's bethesda game and stuff it has the freaking updates but yet this mofo still crash it crashed on me twice be, uh, before i start playing it twice and i was just like what the fuck really <laughs> like really but it's but that's a game. But this game right here, I mean, um, Returnal crashed on um, multiple multiple times on people, and some people are, are not happy about that. Everybody, some people want an actual save state where you put it in rest mode. You know how how like quick saves are, like right right when you load up the the game afterwards, that that quick save disappears. People people want that, but I don't know, man. I'm I'm gonna wait for the game. I'm gonna wait for the game to go on price because I, I played Rogue Lights, Children of Morta. Um, I have that game, Moonlighter. Becky, you need to play Moonlighter. All right, you you probably enjoy Moonlighter and Enter the Gungeon. It might be a bitch, but that that intro's good. Hey, Into the Gungeon. That 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 soundtrack's good. <laughs> it really is. Um, the Bind of Isaac. Yeah, that's the that's the name of it. Um. Risk of Rain, Rogue Legacy, Bind of Isaac. What else? What else am I missing? God damn it, Big Ox. What the fuck? I think that's it. What, what I played so far. But yeah, man. The issue, people don't have the skill. I know there's more casuals out there and stuff, but you can't always play the same hotness like everybody else can you can't you need to look up the game see if you like it or not because that's what i do most of the roguelike games that that i saw was on was on twitter with wario 64 that's why i i looked up like hmm this game looks interesting i found some games on freaking ebay i'm like how in the heck did i miss this you know why because we don't have the physical copy in the united states i found a physical co the european copy you know, on eBay. So I was just like, oh, gonna scoop that up because that looks enjoyable. But that's why I try to play mostly everything, man. That's why I try to play, you know, try to get that get that skill playing everything. I'm not not big fan of uh, MMOs. I'm, I'm I'm really not. 
But, um, or... Sudoku, puzzle games like that, crossword puzzle. I'm not a big fan of that. That's that's not my my not my style. Um, World, World of Warcraft. You want that's basically an MMO. Um, you want to see me back behind playing that because I'm not paying 15 bucks a month for one game. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. But yeah, man, that's about it. Uh, what else I want to talk about? I need to really talk about my overall thoughts of the VR headset. To be honest, but I was gonna do that video before this one, but I actually want to have a little bit more uh, uh, video games I want to play about the VR headset because I still haven't played a quite quite a bit of games. I, come to find out, I have over sixty VR games right now, like sixty one VR games, and some some were were like a bundle. So yeah, I have I have quite a bit and. Playing Skyrim earlier, man, y'all yesterday, man, that that motion sickness. I'll I'll will talk about it probably probably in in a little bit eventually. I'll give my my real thoughts on it. But anyways, guys, this big Oct triple six, y'all stay awesome. I'm sorry, Returnal's not for everybody. You should have done your research, but some people are more casual than others. Where there's more casuals than hardcore gamers out there just saying um watch out for weirdos wear your mask and stay healthy i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye guys have a good one